Before you proceed watching this video, if you do not know what Googleplex, Google, or Graham's number are, then I would recommend watching one of these two videos for further background knowledge. So we know that Graham's number and Googleplex are both unfathomably big numbers. We cannot even begin to comprehend their entire vastness. However, we do know that Graham's number must be bigger than Googleplex. But Googleplex to the power of Googleplex? This is tricky. So which is bigger? Googleplex to the power of Googleplex or Graham's number? Well, we can never really even hope to know how big Graham's number is. I mean, we, we cannot even imagine how many digits it has. However, we do know what Googleplex equals, so we'll focus on that. But how on earth can we possibly multiply Googleplex by itself? Let alone Googleplex times! We can multiply Googleplex by itself so many times simply by simplifying it to Google. So in our simplified form, we can find out what Googleplex to the power of Googleplex is simply by finding Google to the power of Google, then unsimplifying it. So what is Google to the power of Google? Google Googleplex? No. By definition, Googleplex is already 10 to the power of Google. As a basis for finding out what Google to the power of Google equals, we must first find out what exponent, when given a base of Google, equals Googleplex. If that was confusing, this is what I meant. We know that Googleplex equals 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 100. Well, Google equals n to the power of 100. Google squared equals 10 to the power of 200. Google cubed equals 10 to the power of 300. So we start noticing a pattern. So if Google to the power of x equals y, then y equals 10 to the power of 100x. Using fairly basic division, we can solve this equation. And when we solve it, we find that Google to the power of 10 to the power of 98 equals Googleplex. This is because it is Google to the power of 10 to the power of 98, not Google to the power of 10 to the power of 100. If it were Google to the power of 10 to the power of 100, it would equal Google to the power of Google. The difference between Google to the power of 10 to the power of 100 and Google to the power of 10 to the power of 98 is technically only two numbers. Because there's a difference of 2 and it is an exponent, because 10 to the power of 2 equals 100, does that mean that Google to the power of Google is 100 times greater than Googleplex? No. It is an exponent being put to the power of an exponent. All in all, the base of it is Google, and the difference between 100 and 98 is 2, so the final difference between the two must be Google squared. And I did not mean this. I meant this. Using common sense, we can determine that it equals 10 to the power of 100 to the power of 10 to the power of 98, times 10 to the power of 200. So we know what Google to the power of Google equals. But what is Googleplex to the power of Googleplex? Before we go any further, I must explain what multitudo Dirupi levels are. Multitudo Dirupi levels are basically different levels of Google. Multitudo Dirupi Unis would be Google. Multitudo Dirupi Duo would be Googleplex. Multitudo Dirupi Tray would be Googleplex Plex. By the way, Googleplex Plex is a 1 followed by Googleplex zeros. Multitudo Dirupi Quator would be Googleplex Plex Plex. 
Google Plex 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 is, by the way, a one followed by Google Plex Plex zeros. And so on. Multitudo Dirupi is Latin for large number explosion. Which is why I was counting in Latin. Googleplex is one multitude order up be higher than Google, so the answer to Googleplex to the power of Googleplex must therefore be one multitude order up be higher than Google to the power of Google, right? This will make the answer Googleplex plex times 10 to the power of 200, right? No. That would be Googleplex to the power of Google. The real answer to the problem Googleplex to the power of Googleplex would actually be two multitude of Dirupi higher than Google to the power of Google. This would make the answer to the problem of Googleplex to the power of Googleplex Googleplex Plex Plex times 10 to the power of 200. But how big is this? Let me offer you a comparison. For the moment, imagine that Google Plex 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 and all of its unfathomable immensity were squeezed to the size of the Planck volume. If you don't know what the Planck length is, watch this video. If you want a comparison about how small it is, I'm about to give one to you. If you don't want a comparison about how small the Planck length is, click here to skip it. For the moment, imagine that the Planck volume was the size of a grain of sand. Protons would be the size of the Earth. Hydrogen atoms would be the size of the solar system out to Jupiter. And a grain of sand would be the size of the entire Milky Way galaxy. If you know how big the Milky Way galaxy is, click here because I am about to provide a comparison that shows just how large the Milky Way galaxy is. So, if Google Plex 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 were condensed to the size of the Planck volume, how big would Google Plex to the power of Google Plex be? If the Earth were the size of a grain of sand, then the Milky Way galaxy would be the size of New Jersey. Now that you know how small the Planck length is, let's go back to comparing it to Google Plex Plex Plex. A cork, a proton, a carbon atom, a uranium atom, an ant, a cockroach, an elephant, the Earth, the solar system, the Milky Way galaxy. We have to remember that the area we are going to use to represent Google Plex to the power of Google Plex has to be big enough to contain 10 to the 200th Planck volumes. We are going to have to know how many Planck volumes can fit in the observable universe. This number is 10 to the 183rd. 200 minus 183 equals 17. The area we use to represent Google Plex must therefore be 10 to the 17th times larger than the observable universe. By the way, 10 to the 17th is equal to 100 quadrillion. If you don't know how big the observable universe is, click here for a comparison. Because nothing we have ever observed is bigger than the observable universe, we are going to have to have another comparison. For the moment, imagine that the upper part of this thing represents the universe. Googleplex to the power of Googleplex would have a diameter of about one light year. So, yeah, Googleplex to the power of Googleplex is ginormous. But is it bigger than Graham's number? While Googleplex to the power of Googleplex is very, very large, it can still be expressed using exponentation. Graham's number cannot be expressed using exponentation. We can therefore come to the conclusion that Graham's number is much, much larger than Googleplex to the power of Googleplex.